Detroit going into Green Bay, Atlanta and Jacksonville in Wembley and Denver and Chicago in the who gives a shit game. That's what we're going to be talking about. It's your NFL presidential address for week four. This is part one. Part two will be up tomorrow. Part three, the day after, we'll take apart nine games all together. And we have a two-team six-point teaser to give out at the end of part three. Before we get into the first game, the Thursday night matchup, let me just mention that last week across the board in all of the picks on all three of the NFL presidential address shows, we went 10 wins and six losses. Our total record right now 22 and 18. We also had a winning Sunday for our clients, but did give it all back on Monday with a bonehead play on the over in the Rams and Cincinnati. Okay, let's get straight into it. Detroit going into Green Bay, minus one for the road team. The total in this game is 45, and I'm going to make this quick. Detroit struggled to score last week against the Falcons, but they were able to move the ball with 115 yards rushing and 243 yards in the air. They also held the Falcons to under two yards, 200 yards of combined offense. Their pass rush looked good. Their run D looked good. I love this Detroit team, but we're going to look at the total in this game. We are also seeing this Lions team run the ball a ton. 31 runs last week, one of the most in the league. And I don't expect that to stop. As for Green Bay, this is a team that was lucky as hell to get out of Dodge last week with a win against the Saints. Not only did they need a 17-point comeback and a two-point conversion, but they needed the Saints to miss a gimme field goal at the end of the game. This Green Bay team, look, they are seriously injured. Aaron Jones out, Christian Watson out, a bunch of important linemen are out as well, but they are struggling to score. And although they put up close to 350 yards of combined offense, they were shut out completely for three quarters. If you include the fourth quarter against the Falcons the game before, this pack team has not scored in four quarters until they finally put some points up on the board in the fourth quarter of last game. How is this number 45? I don't get it. The pack of a decent defense. The the Detroit team, I think their defense is really good. I think we'll see them at the end of the year as a top 10 unit. Both of these teams are run first teams. Both of these teams are struggling to score in the red zone. This is a big number. I can easily see this game being stuck in the 30s combined, somewhere around 20 to 17. Take Detroit and Green Bay under the total of 45. Now, before we get into the Atlanta-Jacksonville game, I do want to make a couple of mentions. I have a promo for you guys, and it's Prez 1000. And that's $1,000 off my entire year, all sports combined. So to give you perspective... I had a winning regular season in the NFL last year. I had a winning college football season last year. I had a winning NHL season. I had a winning college basketball season. I had a winning NBA season. I am the number one handicapper in profit earned over the last 365 days. The number one. And we have legends at this website. Dave Koken, Brian Leonard, Steve Merrill, Brian Power. Teddy Covers, just that are incredible. Ben Burns, Adam Trigger, Jimmy Adams, and on and on and on. Andy Lang, Carmine, McGinnis. I beat them all over the last 365 days. No one has made more profit than me in the last 365 days. So join me. It's going to be a roller coaster. We're going to lose. We're going to win. But at the end of the year, we will make more money than any mutual fund out there, any stock out there, any crypto out there over the next 365 days. Take advantage of that offer, Prez 1000. Okay, Atlanta plus three going into Jacksonville. The total is 43 and a half. 
Well, it's now two weeks in a row that the Jags have completely laid an egg. And in both weeks, their offense looked really, really bad. This is an offense that came back from 27 nothing against the Chargers in the first week of the playoffs last year. This is an offense that everybody expected a ton from. With that said, let's be honest here. The Jags are much better than this Atlanta team. They have a better QB. They have better wide receivers. They have a better defense, albeit not last Sunday. They also have a better coach and are in a better spot to bounce back. The loss against Houston was humiliating, and I expect to see a bounce back from the Jags here. As for the Falcons, this team couldn't move the ball on Detroit at all. Their so-called vaunted rush game with Bijan, they put up 44 yards. 40 That's like Chicago Bears bad. And Ritter, he only put up 139 yards in the air. He was sacked seven times. This is a tale of two teams that don't compare, and we are looking to take advantage of that. This game is at Wembley and an early start. I feel for the London fans, as this game could be a blowout. Jacksonville has to be mad, and knows that, and they know they need to put some wins down pronto. Uh, they should be able to put up 24 against the Falcons. I can't see Atlanta putting up more than 20. We're going to take the Jazz here as the season is slowly getting away from them and they need to win this game. It's a small amount of chalk. Take the Jags, minus three versus Atlanta. Now we move our attention to the Denver-Chicago game. Man, minus three for a team that uh, got blown out by 50 points last week against Chicago, a team that shouldn't even be in the NFL. How does Justin Fields have a job? He's 5-22 and 22 as a starter. He averages like about 160 yards a game in the air. He has been sacked more times than a bag of potatoes. I don't even know if that's a joke. just came to me. Anyway, the Bears are a total joke. And although they didn't allow 70 on them, they are the worst team in football by far. They have no QB, no great running game, no wide receivers, no great tight end. Their D has no one on it. Their secondary is a joke, and they couldn't spell pass rush if you spotted them every letter. Just when you thought the Bears were horrific last year, this version of the Bears is tied for the second worst point differential through three games in franchise history. They are minus 59. That's 20 points a game. Don't worry, Chicago. All's not lost. You still have the worst pizza ever in the entire world. So there's always that. Now they face the Broncos, who, let's be honest, also suck. With that said, the Broncos have an experienced coach, a vet QB, a world-class wide receiver, and at least some semblance of a D, even though they forgot where the stadium was last Sunday. Uh, you know I plan on betting against the Bears. I plan on betting against the Bears as much as possible. We took KC minus seven last week for our clients in the first half. We took KC over 30 and a half your, uh, team total points. Both cashed. And I'm going to just keep on pounding any team that plays the Bears. We at least saw Denver put up 20 points against Miami. 20 points. Chicago dreams of such things. We also saw Denver, whoops, I don't love anything in this game. Nothing at all. And I'll likely pass. But if I have to make a bet, it would be on the Broncos at minus three. As for the total, who the hell is going to score in this game? Who is going to play D in this game? I don't know. I'll tell you, I tell you guys, the bottom line here is if you need to bet this game, I do like Denver minus three more than the under, but I lean on both Denver and the under. I will likely be making a bet on Justin Fields to go over in rush yards. This, uh, this Denver rush team can't stop anybody, and Fields can't throw. So I expect him to run all over the field. I think the line will be somewhere around 64, take the over. That's it for the NFL Presidential Address Part 1. Make sure to check out Part 2. We'll be discussing Baltimore and Cleveland 
Pittsburgh and Houston, and Miami and Buffalo. Take advantage of Prez 1000. That's $1,000 off of my entire season. And remember, I am the number one expert profit-wise in the last 365 days. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you on part two.